Okay, guys, let me run through this real quick. We have been in captivity for a very long time. This event's been taking place, right? It's like they didn't believe Je Jeremiah, and he said, fine, okay, you don't believe me that you're going into captivity? You, you want to hear something else? They've got man-kings, other people to tell them, oh, no, you're not. God's going to come, and he's going to protect you. He's going to keep you out of captivity. He's going to fly you away. Jeremiah's like, oh, okay, whatever, yeah, sure. Because he told him time and time and time again. And what do we got? Zerubbabel. Held the plumb bob, Zerubbabel, born in Babel, but he came out, was born there, but then they come out, start rebuilding the temple, hold the balance, level the focus. God's elect is a, is a group, is not a group of people. We can't take a brush and paint them. Hey, it's each individual. It's different people, different creeds, colors, everywhere, different religions, um, kids, adults, people that are handicapped, people that are brilliant, people that are not brilliant, people that don't know nothing, people that are scholars. It's all different kinds of people. It's not just one certain sect or little part, okay? The rapture is trapture is crapture. I don't care. I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of the lies. People can believe whatever they want, and if they don't like it, then don't listen to me. It's told over and over and over, and of Christ, Satan appears before we gather back. Paul wrote a second book. There's only one son of perdition, Ezekiel 28, is to perish, one entity to perish, Satan. His sentence is already sealed, okay? Every time Israel, the church, anyone's been taken into captivity, they've been taken care of. I've been through the famines for the word of God, the waters for the truth, Jesus Christ, the living waters, okay? We went over Jeremiah to leave people behind, to be punished is not of God. God doesn't take his so-called best people and leave the unlearned, the unstudied, to perish and be torment, tormented, tortured because of non-understanding. That's not of God. To keep asking God to come and take you is not of God's will. It's selfishness. It's not being patient. It's not waiting. God said, be still. It's selfish. Many still haven't heard from Christ and aren't saved. We're talking about souls here, something more important than yourself, than your trials, your spiritual attacks, your tribulations that you think is bad here. Just wait. Because if you think it's bad with Christ and heaven is wherever God is and you can have heaven and heaven is inside you and if you think that's bad and you can't cut it here, we all go through bad stuff. But if you think it's so bad that you got to fly out of here, then you're about to have some real problems when your Christ is here, if you don't get it. It's a political beast, you guys. When this money system falls in July, they've already been talking about it. I've been saying it before the word went out that they were changing it. So I'm glad I did put it out there. Because everything I've been saying has been coming to pass. Because you know why? It's not me. It's God's word. It's simply by reading it. The, the money system will already be in place when this goes down, you guys. One of the nations or one of the partners, parts, however you would like to word it. One of the areas of control. Just like the seven heads. It's not continents. It's areas of control. So one of these partners, whatever, in this political money world sis, government system backs out. It's something about the peace agreement. Either they break it or some the agreement of the parties break it. One person steps out, the two heads in Revelation, one's religious and one's political. See, the political beast takes a wound, this wound we just read about. Then here comes Satan appearing sometime in July, the July or August, the dry wind. Because remember, calendars are all screwed up, but we know around about season. So July and August, in July you'll see it go down. So somewhere in there, right? And September and October is when true Christ will be here. Got har barley harvest and wheat harvest. The second advent will be somewhere in there. God's will, Antichrist will harvest, and God will harvest his. And Antichrist is first. Remember it said stick your sickle, thrust it in. 
And you don't harvest grapes with the sickle, guys. Okay? And what is it? The cycle, the sickle, the sick L, the sick God. He said, put in your sick God, Satan, the instead of Christ. The cycle, the circle, you guys, chasing your tail, the dry wind, the wind gets you nowhere. Stick with the true Christ. Famine, God's word, the water, 90% is like salt water. Like there's like 10, 15% that's clean. The rest is like contaminated or salt water. You're the locust, like I said, May through September, you guys. And then, like, the May fly and June bugs, and people argue over these names, and it don't matter because they both come out in May and June, but it's symbolic of the people persecuting, the nations moving, the fallen angels, um, mostly this political system because it's in, you know, the system beast and the people of victory moving around the things that people aren't paying attention to and messing with the religious, moving that the rest of the way in, and it's happening. They're getting people on the uh, different doctrines, doctrines and religion of demons. But these are all locust things, that, the grasshopper, the canker worms, all that stuff comes out of the ground, you guys. These plagues, if people look for their food shortage, no, we'll have food. People look for insects and stuff to go crazy, no, it's not what it's doing. To look for the earth to burn up and catch on fire all over. No, that's not what it's doing. The only thing that's going to change, you guys, is the political and religious system. Everything will keep going like it's going because you've been in captivity before you was born. Your your mothers and fathers were in captivity before they were born. Their mothers and fathers were in captivity. This goes way back. People are just now waking up, and they still don't have the full picture of how far it goes back. And this is the flyaway problem out here. And the and it's the holier than thou. And I want to and look at me and blah blah blah. And we always strive to be our best, you guys. But we're also people too. And we know the true people of the Holy Spirit. No, you can plead the law by spirit. And what is of spirit is spirit. And what is of flesh is flesh. The flesh sins, but we don't sin in spirit because no matter what we do oh, in flesh, it doesn't change our feelings, our love, our understanding, or anything about God. That We don't hate God when we do things. We screw up and we repent and we learn. And we might do things we're not proud of and that doesn't make you a horrible person. And it doesn't mean you sinned against God in spirit because what's spirit is what God cares about is your heart your golden wheat your love when you read about that millennium temple what is the church you guys it's us it's together to get her Israel the church to gather her us together and through this harvest we will get seasonal fruit and wheat berries grains blessings blessings of heart a song in itself when it comes from Christ God Almighty he's the only wise one there's only one but good and he leads us by spirit you guys he talks to us he answers our prayers he answers our needs he supplies it before we know what we have need of he's all loving all forgiving So that temple, you guys, what do you have to offer in the end? And when in this spiritual temple, when it's put together in the Lord's Day teaching and the judgment, what is it? You, the only thing you have to sacrifice is your love, your your dedication of your spirit, your feeling, your being towards God. See, you're seeing here whether you love God or you love Antichrist. Can you stay and make it through any situation, no matter how rough, with Christ, with you there, knowing that he's right there and that he's got the promises on the other side, if you can just hold on, just hold on and wait for him? Or are you going to fall and give in to Antichrist? See, and you're earning your discernment and building it and wisdom and knowledge of all things while we're in this fallen state, this flesh body state. 
your spirit, and this is your vessel, your earthly vessel that holds you here for this test. And you're earning the right to be able to be an independent temple, to function on your own, just like a child would where he didn't need his parents screaming down the back of his neck or keeping an eye on him all the time, that you can perform and conduct tasks and be of heart and spirit. Not that you're perfect of flesh, but you're perfect in spirit by Christ. You guys, you know this. You know your hearts. You know that you're good people. Listen to God and be still and wait. And watch for the signs and don't forget the benchmarkers. And God said, all these things must come to pass. Wars and rumors of wars, the end is not yet. Just like the woman's labor pains, you guys, and you women out there know labor pains get stronger and stronger and closer together and they're not as of right now it hasn't got that strong and that close so those things are still coming so look for those different things but all the markers you guys not just the ones I mentioned all of those markers Antichrist the witnesses the word coming to pass the religion the money system the religious system all these things read and look and don't waste your time arguing with people. I know we're still going to get in things. I'm just saying over the word, you guys, because I'm not spending my time. That's why I've been talking to God. And I've been reading scripture and reading things, you guys, but I'm not going to sit out there and put a bunch of, of scripture people are going to argue about. But when I feel God speaking to me about some scripture to put out there, I will definitely put it out there for you guys. I love you all. And stay in God's word. And... Love your family, you guys, and look after your little ones and eat the best you can. You know, it, it does. all of us have different money situations and different access to food. So just get, you know, what's good, what you think you can good is good or the best you can afford. Because when you try, God's going to step in. Because when you move, he moves. Bless all your food in Jesus' name and ask for the poison and and any contaminants to be removed and say, God, I know that you are all things and you're in the food and you can fix and purify this in Jesus' name. Love you guys.